So one of our big news items for this episode is about our advancements in our Asset Intelligence product. So if you're not familiar with Asset Intelligence, um, it's an add-on add -on for the Vantage or Guardian products, and um, it brings artificial intelligence technology into the asset classification within your environment. So asset intelligence uses um, attributes and behaviors that are visible in your network, things like MAC addresses, protocols in use, um, and what apps are being used by, by your assets. It uses that information, compares it against device behaviors and performance for known devices, and from there, um, um, use that com the results of that comparison to further enhance the information about assets in your environment. So your end result, uh, you get improved asset detection, you get a more complete um, asset inventory, and this improved asset information helps to reduce false positive alerts within your environment and ultimately will help simplify your vulnerability management. So in testing and, and, and early stage reports, we've got customers who've reported between 50 to 70% improvement in classification of the types of assets they have, the vendors um, and the products after they've enabled these new features within Vantage. So let's jump over to the lab and we'll show you a little bit about a little bit. Here I am in Vantage and in order to enable the new advanced features we've created in, in asset intelligence, you need to turn it on first. So what we do is we jump across to our administration page and under organization settings, features, and here we have enable asset intelligence enrichment engine. Tick that box, hit save, um, pay attention to this last page here. The data processing and analysis may require up to 48 hours. So hit save, go away and have you know a lot of coffee, do a couple of days work, come back, take a look and see what the difference is. Okay, here I am in Vantage, and let's show you the difference between assets that have asset intelligence enrichment and assets that don't. So we're going to start off with um, with one that doesn't, and that's um, this top camera here. So this is just a budget, no-brand camera, um, which I purchased for the lab, and really all we can tell is it's a camera, um, and the detection is passive, most likely because it's, um, it's using the RTSP protocol, um, but that, that's really all we know about this device. If we look at a different camera I've got, we can see that asset intelligence has made some improvement. So this left-hand panel, which wasn't present on the previous asset, we've now got a picture of what this camera could be um, and a model number. So it's it's nearly there. Um, it's uh, For this particular camera, it's actually a rebranded Dahua. Um, the model number and things is correct, but... It's, it's not a Dahua, it's, it's rebranded, it's a generic. Um, now if we look at a device that has full asset intelligence enrichment, so I take one of my switches here, um, the Cisco, and we've got, a, we've got a very different picture. So, well, we have a picture of a switch, that's a good thing. We have a very good description of the device itself. And what's really interesting is down here in the bottom right hand side, we have end of sale date and end of support date, which have come from Asset Intelligence. And I think that's kind of useful. And I would like to share a simple query with you. Um, if you're running Asset Intelligence, um, whether it's in Vantage or in a Guardian, if you're running Asset Intelligence, then, then this query might be useful um, to help work out what devices and, and look at um, end of sale and end of support. So you can work out what in your asset inventory you might need to look closer at. Let's take a look at that. So here I am on my queries page, and we're going to start off looking at the assets table. Then we're going to pipe, and so where is AI, AI enriched? Helps when I can type properly. Equals true. And if we just run that query right now, so I'm going to use control enter and just run the query. So these are all the devices in my lab. There's 24 of them. Um, where AI enrichment has been applied. So I'm going to expand this query some more, <clears throat> and I'm just going to do a copy paste off screen here. We'll do a copy and we'll paste it into here and explain what we've got. So the third line we've added in, we're saying where the life cycle includes the word end. 
Um, so that's going to pick up end of sale or end of support. And then the last line, let's select the name, the IP address, the vendor, um, what the life state is, the end of sale date and the end of support date. Let's run that query. So now you can see we've got, um, basically, I've got 10 devices out of my 24 and that are fully populated and have end of sale and end of support information in them. Um, they're at a life cycle where they're not sold anymore, at least not sold, and they may still be in support or, or not. So if you look at my, my Cisco switch here, um, end of sale date 2010, end of support 2015. So now being 2023, this, this switch should have been replaced in a production environment, um, but you know, and I know, that there's probably a thousand sites um, in any given part of the world which will be running gear of this age, um, because that's, that's what we get in the industry we're in, right? So we have all these devices here, and I would use this kind of report um, to trigger, or to start, or to add to, um, to enhance, enrich, a conversation with a pro, uh, with an asset management team within the OT environment and say, hey guys, you're aware that these devices have problems or these devices are unsupported. What's our plan to upgrade them um, and how can you help me manage the manage the cyber risk around them? So that, um, that query is appearing on screen and um, yeah, maybe you'll find it useful.